Hi guys, another diversion from tidying out my workroom. Another one of my favourite rubber band powered cars. No way I'm going to tear this one apart to make space in my workroom. It'll have to go up in the loft. But we'll give it another run before I put it up there. There'll be links in the video description uh, to the original build for it. It'll be on my a rubber band on it channel that's my channel where I just do rubber band powered stuff and as you can see this one we twist the rubber band it turns that gear which turns that gear which turns the back wheels I've put two strands of rubber bands on there at the moment I did have more on there but they were all dead or dried out and broken because this has been on in store for a year or so so we wind it up I'll put the camera on it little um, action camera so we can watch these turning as it goes along I did do some experiments with it originally to see how far it would go because of the way it's geared it covers a reasonable distance right let's have a look that worked See if we can go back the other way. I did design it with this winding handle on this end. But I find it's just as quick to wind up the wheels in the other, on the other end. So although that works, it's easier to do this. I can't remember what the ratio is, but it's at least two to one, if not three to one. That'll do. So we can put that one away in the loft and forget about it. Definitely not going to break it up. It took far too long to cut those gears by hand. Just realised I filmed all of that running it upside down. It's supposed to be this way up. So you see the pretty colour I painted it. Never mind, I'm not going to film it all over again.